Hello internet people, in this video I'll show you how you can remove a link from Google search results. I'll first show you a way to do it in Google search console, but it only removes it for 90 days, so it's a quick but temporary fix. After that I'll take you step by step how to make it permanent with meta tags or redirects. This will work on WordPress and HTML sites. Turkish Rambo, how do you delete your pages? Alright, so the first step is to remove it from Google Search Console. And basically just go to Google and type in Google Search Console and then follow the link. Start now and you get this view. Just in case you, if you get the old view, go to the new view. I think the button is somewhere here in the old view so that you can see the same thing as I do. But basically if you have this domain property installed, the problem is you can't remove a URL by using Google Search Console, which is a shame. I hope they will bring that to the domain property, but for now it's not possible. If you've set up this like a URL property, then you should be fine. If you select it, you can actually go to, if you scroll down, legacy tools and removals. Well, it looks super old school. And then just click on temporarily hide and then grab the URL. So this is an article on my website that I want to hide because it just doesn't get any traffic and it's uh, actually I've moved away from Facebook related tutorials. So I don't want it anymore. So I'll enter that. Make sure it's the same kind of URL as this. So no www and hit continue. And in the request type, you're able to select different types of, well, the way you want to remove it. So you can just clear it from the cache, for example, if you updated it. But in my case, actually, I want to remove it from the cache and also temporarily from the search. And then submit the request. Now, the problem with this approach is that it actually just removes it for 90 days. And actually, within the 90 days, it can appear again, just because you're requesting to remove it temporary, but actually you need to remove it permanently. And there's two ways to do that. First one is uh, using meta tags. And the second way is to redirect your traffic to 404 page or to 410 page. All right. Enough talk. All right, let's take a look how to do it with meta tags. And actually, this is the easiest way if you're with WordPress. So I'm here on my WordPress blog post. This is the post I want to actually remove, the same URL I, I just showed before. But basically here, if you have Yoast SEO plugin or other well-known SEO plugins, you have the option on this page when you scroll down here under advanced, you have the possibility to actually remove the page from Google search results. And instead of the yes, just select no and you're good to go and then update the page. And if you want to see how to install Yoast SEO plugin on your WordPress, check out the video that will appear in the top right corner now. And what this does is it adds a meta tag and meta tag is simply something like this. It basically just says, hey robot, don't index this page. And most of the search engines actually follow this. So uh, it's quite robust way to exclude your page from Google search index. The only thing is it might take some time as your website is already live. There's no way to tell when Google actually removes it. So just keep that in mind. Or if you don't want to use a plugin, then I would advise you to use the redirect so you can skip to that section in this video. And if you have an HTML website, then simply find the page where you have your post and then add this between the head tags. So basically you have head tag like this. There's a lot of stuff there probably and the closing head tag like this one. So somewhere there you need to add this meta tag and I'll post this in the description of this video. Hercules, how do you feel after this tutorial? My name is Robert and if this is your first time here and you want to learn more about how to improve your website, get more traffic and other website related stuff, make sure to hit that subscribe Ding button dong. so you don't miss out on anything. If you want to test the setup and that this actually worked, it's quite simple. If you have a caching plugin, don't forget to clear your cache. But after that, just head to your to the post and then refresh the page. 
and then right click anywhere and click on inspect element and here in the inspector just go anywhere and then click on control F on Windows or command F on Mac and then type in robots and as you can see this post now has this meta tag in the code so this is the easiest way to see if everything went well Arnie can you follow all of this <laughs> And lastly, let's take a look at the redirection and how you can redirect your site to a 404 or 410 page so that Google knows that you're actually removed the page on purpose and that it doesn't exist anymore. The easiest way in WordPress to do this is to actually install a plugin. So just head to your plugin section and add new and type in redirection. And then just install this one with weird flowers. It's just called redirection. Activate and install it. And once you've done that, it's actually really easy to set up after that. So you basically go to tools, redirection. And here you see I have already one redirection. And you can add more by clicking on add new. And now just grab the URL from here. You have to use the relative so you can remove your domain. In the query parameters, I would select the second option, ignore all parameters. So it doesn't matter. It always just redirects it to this. It just always redirects it. You can also set the target URL. So in this case, I'll just put home. And by clicking on this cogwheel, you actually get more options. Then you need to select when matched to error 404 and then to select here for 10 gone. And I like to use this one because it actually tells the search engines that this page is deleted and it's on purpose. So it's not just an error page, but it's actually deleted on purpose. So put for 10 gone. Then you can give it a group uh, if you want to or position in that group, um, but it doesn't really matter in this case. And then click on add redirect. And you can see here it added the redirect here Arnie, how do you redirect traffic? You're being redirected. Now, if you don't want to use the plugin and you would rather uh, do it yourself, it's possible. It's both for HTML sites and WordPress, but then you need to go to your cPanel and in cPanel, you just go to file manager and then let it refresh, find your, just find your root folder for that domain. In my case, it's in the public HTML and it's this one. But if I used another domain like this, StoreMonkey WP, I would have gone into it. And here, what you need to do is find this .ht access file. If for some reason you don't see it, check that your settings are uh, allowing you to show hidden files. So just check it. And then click on the HD access file and choose edit. I have a lot of stuff here, don't really need it, but just scroll to the bottom and add this code. You'll have to replace the, the URL to your own, but basically you can use this one as your template. And obviously the code will be in the description. This will redirect, first it will give a status of 410 and then it will also show the home page instead. So to test this, it's quite easy. Just grab your URL uh, and then open a new private window. Otherwise, you might have some cache. Throw it in. And before we do that, let's right click inspect element. And here, let's take the network tab. And now we can refresh the page. And you can see you have the 410 request. And then it goes to the home page like this. And this way, you can be assured that your website is actually going to be removed from Google quite quickly just because Google doesn't want any web pages that are well basically removed. They don't want to index anything that they don't need to. My name is Robert and if you're looking to grow your online business then this is the channel for you. So hit that subscribe button and find the bell so you get notified about new videos. Here are two videos that I think you should watch next. Oh,